Hi, good morning. How's everyone? I, I hope you could hear me. Can you? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you? Uh, I need to uh, to see some reactions if um, to know if I could go ahead. All right. So I think we're okay. Um, yeah. Let me try to um, share my um, screen, my PowerPoint presentation. And all right. So again, um, thank you and welcome to uh, Master the Basics. It's it's actually a free view of Master the Basics and Guide to Leadership and Supervision. So um, this is a very exciting um, uh, module because um, when we talk about leadership, there are so much um, things to consider, um, being a leader, being a supervisor, manager, department head, um, whatever title, that, uh, which involves you leading some people or um, staff reporting under you, and you have to guide them all throughout. So this would be, um, and for most of us, uh, I, I think no, from, from um, the participants or from the attendees today, there are some of us who have um, experience doing the leadership or supervision. Um, for some, um, we are new newcomers or newbies, as we call them. Um, for some, um, you are um, probably um, looking at leading a team in the future, sometime in the future. So this would be a, a, the best um, module, I think, um, that, that we could um, learn from. So um, um, I think most of us, um, may it be um, whatever industries, um, most of us are, are promoted to a leadership position without any formal training. So, um, and and we have to do we have to carry on the task without such background. So we learn it as we um, grow with with the position. All right. So um, let's see. Let's proceed. Okay. So um, first things first. Um, before we we uh, begin our um, formal. Um, module or you know discussion it's, it's going to be very quick very short i would say but um especially that when we talk about leadership there are um, a lot of underlying topics um we'll be talking about um, foundation or basic management functions but um since we um are um, from different industries we we may have different um you know from, from the bpo industry from from academe from manufacturing from healthcare and, and all those things. So um, we may have different opinions about certain thing, things. So I'd like to expect everyone to be an op to be open-minded because um, hearing different background, different points of views, that's how we grow as a leader as well. So I expect everyone to be open. And then of course, during the course of the conversation or the, the discussion, uh, I want everyone, hopefully, to participate by reacting, commenting, and later on, if um, during the um, later part of the presentation or the session, there will be a Q and A. &A. So, and I hope everyone with the this two hours, within two hours, will be um, you know um, learning something. Um, I hope that um, every one of us will go home that we we would be pondering on on something that that we have learned during the discussion, all right? And of course, hopefully everyone will have fun, all right? So uh, those are my basic house rules. So I expect everyone to participate and comment and feedback, all right? So just as a quick summary of my profile, there you go. I have um, two decades of leadership experience because way back, uh, more than two decades, I would say, because I started as a leader or the, the function as a, as a leader managing staff, um, way back 2000. And uh, I have more than 20 years also of skills training and speakership. I've been doing speakership with uh, different industries, um, corporate, um, also um, through different schools. Um, I've been doing career talk and, and you know, um, facilitating um, student leaders workshop and, and all that. And I've been um, part of um, Limitless Power Coach since 2018. Um, we're in, as you have seen from, from the initial video um, presented earlier, that I was um, um, one of the events um, coordinator, actually director, that I was in charge of program um, when we, um, held when we hold the um, the the two national Philippine uh, national um, conferences in the Philippines, wherein we have invited different 
um, industry leaders, industry experts. So um, that's that's how uh, I got engaged with Limitless Power Coach. And of course, I've been doing this online. Uh, actually, uh, we, before the pandemic, we started with uh, face to face. So um, now that that um, um, we are far better from um, that of you when when the, the pandemic started. So um, now we are open for a face to face um, training or um, workshop. Uh, and, and and it's it's more um, um, exciting when we do the face to face workshop. So we we get to do a lot of activities and apply different um, um, techniques uh, about leadership and about the, the challenges of being a leader. And um, the industry experiences I I have been exposed to are um, from corporate sales and marketing. IT, customer service, talent acquisition or recruitment, and of course, HR, um, employment engagement, and events management. So those are my um, field of experiences. And um, for, for today, um, we'll try to, um, you know, um, have a quick uh, learning about the course outline. Um, module one will be focusing on the supervisor defined, or um, we can call it like um, defining um, leader, um, as I've mentioned earlier, we 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 uh, carry on different titles, different industries, different companies, um, but um, we some are called team leaders, some are called supervisors, managers, department head, um, what have you. But uh, bottom line is we are all leaders. And um, module number two will be planning, and and these are the the four basic management functions: planning, organizing. Leading, which is my favorite, I always say this because this is uh, a very complex but interesting topic. And um, number five would be controlling. All right. So, okay, just a um, few reminders before we officially start the the discussion. So we are live through Limitless Power Coach um, through their um, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and of course this uh, is uh, uh, via Streamyard. All right. So, uh, and later on, um, we'll have a, a Q and A portion um, later part of, of of the session. But if you have, uh, of course, I'll be expecting some um, reactions, or you know, if if you have any uh, quick questions that I may be um, reading in through um, live chat and and all. So just feel free to do so. So, and of course, before the um, end of the session, we'll have a photo opportunity. Um, we'll be guided later on by um, Julius and April from Limitless Power Coach. And again, um, you can react or comment um, via YouTube uh, live chat and Facebook comment section. All right. And for some, um, we have um, uh, attendees also via Zoom. So please feel free to react. So I would know that I'm, you know, <laughs> um, things are being communicated properly. All right. So let's get started. Okay, so I'd like to know, um, perhaps um, before we, we officially start, um, we may have um, some previous um, supervisory or leadership experience. Uh, if if I hope I, I'll be able to get some um, reactions. No, um, if if there are, yeah, mga, uh, if there are any um, comments or uh, we most of us are do have leadership experience Ayan. and then do we have skills and capabilities to do the job those are the basic things that that we um consider all right so um do we really have uh the skills why did my my manager or my uh, um, my head my department head my boss um, considered me for the position or uh, got promoted with this position. So do we have the skills? And if you are currently um, um, engaged with the leadership role, how are you faring? Um, how are you um, performing at the moment? Are you able to carry on the duties and responsibilities of the role? So these are the questions. And have you envisioned yourself managing people? So I, I think even before we, we take on the role, these are the basic um, questions that, that we tend to 
bakit kaya ako? Um, how come uh, my boss, um, you know, promoted me? How come my boss is considering me for the position? And for some of us, we are, um, some of us are very aggressive, especially the young ones. No? The, the, I mean, the young youngsters, uh, the millennials, we are very aggressive to learning and later on take on um, a higher level of roles. No? And, and we, we would like to, to manage team. That's how we grow personally and professionally. So as... Um, I'd like the participants to um, take a moment, perhaps, and describe your ideal leader. Uh, perhaps you can um, take notes um, and list perhaps at least um, three um, character, characteristic, attitude, um, attributes, uh, skills that you, th you could think of. Or um, I know for, for um, some of us or most of us have um, a mentor that, that we prefer or we're following such uh, footsteps or um, characteristics as, as a leader. Um, so can you describe him or her in, in three words perhaps? Or uh, on the other hand, you could also um, describe, you could uh, do some self-assessment how do you um, describe yourself as a leader? All right, please take a moment to um, see that or to, to share with us some thoughts. All right, so some are saying, um, yeah, objective, motivator, listener, uh, strong. From Mariah, we have good listener, pro people, empowering. All right, good words, good on words does not compromise, according to Joseph Albertus. Uh, we have um, empathic, motivator, good listener, um, Carmiona Liz Agabao. All right, so uh, ability to inspire others. Ayan. So I'll try to browse some of the inputs. Uh, empathic, fair, goal oriented from Jaime Julius Mabesa. Uh, systematic and with, with standard, that's good, right? Uh, one who motivates and empowers, ayan. Um, humble, patient, and result-oriented, good, from Raquel Cabida. And um, oh, fair, open, inspiring, empowering, from Camille Sarmiento. All right, we have a lot. Um, it's good that we're seeing a lot of uh, feedback and reactions. Efficient, multitasking, and innovator. That's good. From from Demelin Gansero. I hope I'm pronouncing your names um, correctly, but if, if not, I apologize in advance. Sorry. And then from Maria Cristina Montes, not a micromanager, uh, an enabler and compassionate. Micromanager because there are micromanagement and macro, no? macro management so the, these are good um, two different perspectives micro is you know very detailed as if they're very hands-on and macro manage manager is more on um you know your boss trusts you whatever the decision or assessment that you would be doing so that's a good one compassionate um proactive yes appreciative responsible yeah sabi, encourager Initiator and good listener, uh, sabi ni, um, from ITGAJ Puyat. Me as a leader, motivator, listener, and objective. Good. Uh, okay. Um, Cherry Villega says, high integrity and passionate. Ayan. Um, when, when we deal with people, it's, it's always a must that we have um, that kind of passion to deal or communicate with, with um, staff or with other people. That's good. All right. And then um, Reg Reginald Gamba said on oh, note down role model, personal care and concern, knows when to push. Ayan, ayan. Yung mga role model, yung sinasabi natin, lead by example. So that's that's a good um, notion there. Or that's a good description or expectations. And then um, knows how to push. Ayan. Um, you, you know when to talk and when to listen. So yan yung... Um, and, uh, whenever we, we need to take initiative as well. Ayan. 
And then from Jacqueline Rose Lim, inspirational, appreciative, responsible, goal-oriented. Ayan. Um, Dave Hernandez says, can decide immediately. Ayan, tama yan. Especially on critical uh, moments, no? Um, critical um, situations. Uh, MJ Aguila said, um, someone who can easy communicate who can easily communicate, perhaps. And then, um, Noli Tambawan, um, someone who inspires his or her subordinates. Tama, yan. Tignan pa natin ng mga iba pang. From Sarah Dickman, decisive and uh, actually gets <laughs> blank done. Oh, yan. So, um, right, yung mga dirty work. Uh, or yung mga un unnecessary um, things, no? And then, um, Mayreen Garcia said, unbiased, inspiring, walk, walks the talk. Right, right. It, it's not purely, you know, about words. Sabi nga natin, we have to take action. So, when when we, initiative, when we say initiative, um, we think of the idea and then we carry out through action. Yon. So, pag naiisip mo lang and you're not taking any action, you're not an initiator or you're not doing something that is not being a leader, right? And then from Elsie Esquillo, um, leader who truly leads and not points out to anyone who made a mistake, um, fair and motivator. Ayan. Dami, exciting. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that everyone is um, participating. Ayan. Goal setter, right. Committed to team, committed team player. Ayan. Um, usually, ito yung mga nakakalimutan natin. Um, okay, from Carmina Yap. Inspiring, positive-minded, right. Uh, versatile and with good intrapersonal and interpersonal. Um, yeah, this is very um, good point. No? Um, since, as I've mentioned earlier, we're, we're dealing with humans. So it's we have to have this intra and interpersonal skills. It's it's a must, especially the interpersonal skills. Yeah, because we communicate every day. We can't avoid dealing with um, people when, when we manage them. Um, okay, focus on team development, according to Elmer Bersamin. Ayan. And so much more. Ang dami pa nang hindi ko nabasa. But thank you for, for the response. So, but basically from my previous, um, the last 12, I, I suppose, um, run uh, or, or um, sessions that I have uh, done in, in the past two years, um, these are some of the common um, feedback or description that... Uh, that the participants have noted um, somebody who is approachable or friendly or um, this is the person who could um, you could easily you know talk to yan yung mga sinasabi nating uh, madaling lapitan and then um, somebody who is considerate or a uh, good listener so these are the persons that are um, sensitive in a positive way we're in you know very observant um, they're very um observant about you know the the the, the attitude the behavior of, of the subordinates because if if you know your your stuff and you have it's a must that you need to, to know them not just by name but you know everything about them um concerning their work their their um, um attitude and, and all that so that is being uh considered and from there you'll be able to learn um uh, the things that they need and what their their um, strengths and their even their weaknesses and knowing knowing their weaknesses you have to uh, you know take actions and you know those are the things that you have to focus on. All right, so being uh, supportive or good motivator, I have seen a lot of um, reactions or feedback um, noting this very supportive and good motivator. So if um, your staff is lacking on something, may it be skills, may it be, um, you know, confidence. Um, you're there to do something and try to um, be creative in trying to come up with uh, an, a support activity or, you know, even even a, a, a simple talk or, you know, sit down with the, with the staff trying to understand what, what happened, what are your thoughts and, and all that. Because, and 
there are um, instances where in you yourself you have to um, continuously motivate your your staff. And one um, good rule of thumb is involve your staff um, because once you are involved with any project, with any task, or with especially with projects that are critical. Uh, and taking advantage of their capabilities, highlighting their their um, their skills, um, definitely your staff would be uh, motivated. E even us, no, um, individually, if, if we are to assess our own self, um, once we are involved, and you know, um, you have shared your idea, and once you have uh, learned that your idea is one of the things that your manager your leader would be doing or your company would be considering and of course that would entice you more to participate and get yourself involved without you know dragging you to, to do such all right next being patient and compassionate uh, as i've mentioned earlier dealing with people we have to be uh, you know uh, intimate um, with them no um, dealing with work we have to um, have that um compassion and of course understanding behavior of human is not easy and uh, there are different personalities there are weak personalities there are strong personalities uh, I know um, I, I, I um, think some of us from who are experiencing that um, there are people or there we have staff who are very aggressive no um, very intimidating um, and we we have um, staff also that you know unless you push them or corner them they won't be um speaking or they won't be sharing their thoughts or you know things like that so we have to find ways we have to be very patient dealing with different personalities all right and of course appreciative this is one um i think this is one thing that um a lot of leaders a lot of, of uh uh, industry leaders, um, supervisors, managers, lacking on, on this one. And, um, of course, as a staff ourselves, we want to, to um, be appreciated as well, right? Um, um, sharing, sharing uh, you know, highlighting their, their um, contributions would definitely, you know, lead them to, to, mo to get motivated, to, to, to do extra mile, you know, um, it, it's not a typical, um, we call them parang eight to five uh, employee. Instead, they're very excited to um, report for work because uh, as we know, uh, almost uh, one third of, of our 24 hours is given to our work, actually more than one third, no? um, especially those who are um, reporting um, before and after the shift or extending time just to accomplish a lot of things. All right. Okay, so I hope with the, the ideal leaders or characteristics that we have noted or you have also shared and, and mentioned, um, start uh, assessing yourself. Ah, these are, uh, uh, am I approachable? Am I considerate or am I a, a good listener? Am I um, a good motivator or do I support my, my staff um, that well? Am I compassionate? Am I being considerate? Um, and do I acknowledge the, the the contributions or you know the the attitude or um, the skills of, of my staff? So those are some of the things that we have to do. Yeah, para alam natin how are we faring. And as I've mentioned, oh, as one of the questions earlier, we said that um, how am I doing? Am I doing the right job? And I know the the very reason why you are um, attending this training it's because you want to really learn something. And mere fact that you acknowledge that you want to learn, that means um, you have a great potential to become a leader because you are an open minded. Usabi nga kanina na um, you have um, this um, interest to grow. Um, personally and professionally, because of course, um, I, I don't think any of us would would want to um, stay um, rank and file or staff member forever. No, even though we we have been with the company for X number of years, um, the mere fact that you have signed up for this leadership, it only means you don't you don't want to be um, one of of the many. Uh, or yung, lalo na yung, yung mga starters or newbies or new hires na sinasabi natin. So we, we want to gain experience. So we want to really grow up personally and professionally and we would want to grow our team and later on um, become uh, uh, um, 
a key role um, our um, company um, would have. Ayan. All right. So let's start with uh, as have um, as we have defined earlier um, leadership. No. So just just a quick um, summary of, of all these things. Um, we say that supervisor, leader, department head, manager, uh, whatever the the specific name um, or, or role that that we have that we define this as the management's uh, front line who serves as eyes and ears for both the management and the non-management or the rank and file level. So everyone, we represent everyone and we are um, managing the organization and at the same time, the staff expectations. So we, we, we serve as the eyes and ears, even the mouth actually, because we have to speak up whenever there are concerns, there are um, Issues that we think that we need to, you know, um, react, know about. Um, so that's uh, uh, one um, ration. Um, we are expected to uh, drive the direction of the team towards the organization's goal and success, which would include the four basic management function. All right. So yung PLOC na sinasabi natin. All right. Okay. So um, even before, um, for experienced or even um, newcomer or newbies, um, we have, um, although this is just, uh, let's say in, in, in your company, you are called, um, supervisor or uh, like in my case, uh, I, I was, a, a, an HR manager. So, um, one position, but it has three different roles and the roles are of a manager or a leader or a department head. Uh, we have different roles. Um, and it's it's always good to understand those different roles. One position, different roles. So base, these are the, the basic uh, different roles. No? Um, the first one is being part of the management. So uh, since you manage staff or members, definitely you are part of management because whatever the, the direction or the... Um, uh, the task or the project that you um, the, the management is trying to ask you to carry on. So you are already um, part of the management team because you have to carry this out. You have to take action. You have to coach. You have to guide your, your staff members or your team. Kahit isa lang yan, kahit na 20, 100 and all, you are um, part of management. Yan. And of course, um, you yourself is a staff member. Right, Iko then you're you're part of the company. You are part of the department. You are part of uh, the, the 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 team. So you yourself um, is is a staff member. All right. So even before you became a, a a leader, a supervisor, you started as a staff member. Or even for for some of our supervisors, they're super. Um, you're supervising your team, but you also report to someone. So you're, you're still part of that staff, right? And your role as yourself. So how do you want to carry on your role as, as a leader? As we have described earlier, there are a lot of um, good characteristics, attitude, practices, and all of a leader. So it's, it's um, always good that you yourself ha ha have to define um, what kind of leader, what kind of supervisor, what kind of manager, what kind of department head you would want to be. No? Uh, remember, the position um, carries a lot of responsibility, a, a lot of accountability, and a lot of authority. So, sabi nga natin, magkakamag-anak yun. You, you have to have your the authority to manage um People, you have uh, along with it, you have the accountability. Whatever the result, whatever happens, you are accountable of your team's action or you know result of, of um, or output of, of your team, and you are responsible. Whatever, however, whatever, whenever. So lahat yan, you are in charge. Yeah. Um, yon. All right. So an. Uh, I just wanted to, to, to check on this. A good leader knows his or her team better than anyone else. That's right. So, yeah. So, it, it's it's always important that you know your role. R roles, actually. Sabi nga natin kanina, ito yung three basic, no? Yung being part of management, um, being a, a staff member yourself, and um, 
being uh, the leader that that you are okay so um when we say understanding the role as uh, as mentioned earlier no you you transition you have to wear different hats no from um before you got promoted and leading the team you started from a member or a colleague yourself no before you transition or you you um started um as assuming the role of a supervisor or as the leader and um as a supervisor you're uh, representing staff towards management sabi nga natin kanina parang um tayo mismo we're, we are staff members so we have to speak up we represent sabi kanina natin we are the eyes ears or even the mouth of um the company um staff to to the management and management to staff so yeah and as a direct influencer of the company sabi natin supervisors managers um department heads or leaders are the most influential people within an organization within a company because you tend to um drive the, your staff to whichever directions that um you may be um pursuing later on right so um if um you have a good um, leadership and you know you you drive your your um, members to achieve the expected um goal then you're doing good and you have a good working relationship you have a good teamwork within your 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 circle not so that makes you a good uh influence within your organization and um why why do we ask or why do we have um to understand the different roles that we carry on it's um, it's because from there, we would know what to perform and how to perform and um, when to perform. So um, it, it's also a matter of um, setting expectations. Uh, I, I'm a believer of uh, feedback, no? um, whatever positive, negative, not so good, um, um, favorable, unfavorable, sometimes um, reasonable and unreasonable uh, expectations. It's, it's better to know them all. Um, because these expectations will be our guide as uh, how, when, and what to perform. Um, otherwise, if we have we, we don't have any expectation, how would we know? How would we gauge? How would we evaluate if we are doing the the title, the role uh, as it is, or based from the expectations, right? So um, it, it's a matter of setting expectations as a member towards a supervisor. So you being a staff. Um, this is a good guide no? um, of setting expectations for us to consider how to perform. Um, as a member of, of a team, what are your expectations of your leader, your boss? Ganun tayo. So from there, tinitignan, ah, si boss, ganito. Mag, um, gusto ko, ganito siya, ganito, and, and all that. So it's it's always good to list down. Siguro maganda, uh, most of us, no? um, especially men, no? we are, uh, men are, are visual. Gusto natin, nakikita natin. And that could be a, a reminder as well. No? Kung baga, sabi nga natin kanina, um, try to enlist everything. So the, um, writing them down would be a, a, a reminder. Even with, with us, no? um, um, taking part the role or, you know, um, accepting the leadership position, um, there are some expectations that we want to, to achieve. So these are the things or yung intention natin. So as a member yourself, try to set expectations. Ano ba yung gusto ko sa, sa magiging um, leader ko or sa boss ko? Or ano na yung mga, uh, yung mga previous bosses mo na na-experience? What are the good points? And it's also to note, what are the not so good points? Kasi not so good points are unfavorable uh, experiences. Yun yung mga sabi nga natin kanina, guide that ah iiwasan ko. Ayok ito yung nakita ko from my previous boss and I don't want that to happen. So, at least you know and you will try to avoid doing that especially yung about being um fair or you, you know yung mga good practices or yung mga not so good practices so let's take note also kasi we always say no um le, uh, always focus on the good points of a leader yes that's good but as a leader yourself you have to also take note of the not so good and those are um things that we pour in extra effort because we have to make sure that we're not we're not going to do that and making sure that our um members or staff will not be able to um, experience or, you know, um, have that that 
um, experience, no? yung untoward or un- unnecessary or, or unreasonable experience. And then uh, another um, setting of expectation as, as a supervisor towards your staff member. So ano ba yung expectations mo sa members mo? Oh, ako, uh, since example, I'm, I'm managing five, uh, my expectations would be, ano yung expectation natin sa, sa mga staff natin? Um, independent sila. So, do you have, can we have um, any reaction from what are our expectations from, from our uh, members? Kasi, eh, no, usually, ang expectation nasa, nasa leader, no? But, uh, essentially, as, as, as leaders ourselves, we have to make sure that whenever somebody or whenever we manage it, uh, um, our staff, we have to make it clear to them as well what are their, uh, what do we expect from them. Kasi ang, ang sabi nga natin, no? um, running a team, it, the, the characters or the, the, it composed of the leader and the members. So hindi pwedeng leader lang ang gumagalaw ang nag But you have your members to, to, to carry on the task or to, you know, share the thoughts and, and all that. So sige, tingnan natin. Um, learn from the mistakes or what did not work from previous leader. Okay, thank you from... Um, AJ Puyat. And then um, proactive for the project. Uh, uh, proactive. Ayan. Responsible, committed, and proactive. Ayan. Um, so, ito yung expectations natin from the members. No? Can work independent, but De- independent but dependent on the company culture, right? So, kailangan yan, no? yung, yung mga policies natin, kailangan yung culture na gina or in execute or in enjoy natin should be aligned with with the company uh, policies no uh, team player um, they should know also how to empower themselves ayan from margarita nagmo-move na from margarita nako hindi ko nahahabol sorry from noli tambawan can work independently and fast and a fast learner. The members should be cooperative and willing to learn, according to Demelin Gansero. Uh, Felicissima Romero said, flexible about the job, right? Um, to think outside the box and exceeds beyond guests and management expectations. Palagay ko nasa service industry si, si Apple. Si Apple ba yun? Na, na, na over, ano na. And then, uh, they are open-minded for challenges and respect for each member, right? Positive attitude and cooperation. Honest and transparent. Uh, yan. Okay. Uh, establishing good working relationship with, will make your staff do their functions with integrity. Participative or very involved. Aaron Noor um, said that. And from... Uh, Mark Anthony Pana, Panahon, cooperative, honest, and responsible. Yeah, and there are so much expectations, no? So it's very um, necessary for us whenever we hold a, a meeting. Siguro, if, if you haven't done this before, uh, moving forward when you return um, to work and, and you know, um, have your, your um, team meeting, you ask them. Or um, siguro, it's good. Na if you're brave enough or if you, you have the courage to ask them what are their expectations about you as their leader. And at the same time, you have to let them know what are your expectations. Kasi kailangan pareho kayo ng, ng, uh, pareho kayo ng guided. It would be easier to, to reach that goal no? if you have the same understanding, if you have the same um, expectations. No? Kung baga, aware kayo kung ano yung mga expectations. And sabi ni Joseph, their rain positive outlook on company's project task and full cooperation and participation on it. Yan. Yan. So, yon. So, it's a must that you you let them know. Para alam, alam nila na, ah, it, kumbaga, it would be unfair na um, parang ma-realize din ng mga staff natin na they have expectations of us as a leader. And um, being part of the team, you also have expectations from them para clear tayo and mas ma ano yan, mas harmonious yung yung communication and relationship nyo and in trying to attain mas smooth yung flow ng ng um, how you you do your task or perform your task all right and then as a member or supervisor towards the company so um sabi natin kubaga lagi tayong uh, two face yan no when we talk to our staff we are 
the management ourselves. We represent the management. We tell them these uh, are the objectives, these are the goal of the company or the management, and we're getting to this kind of direction. And at the same time, so when we talk to uh, the management, um, our boss, um, our leaders, you must CEO, ma, and all that, no? so to whoever um, position higher than, than, than our level, we represent our members. Hindi pwedeng um, sinasabi sa atin ng, ng uh, management, no? ito yung gagawin. Oo ka lang. You have to feel, sabi nga natin kanina, we have to be considerate no? uh, of, of our members. If, when you talk to, to the management, try to wear, try to, to think fill in the shoes of, of a member or a staff or an employee, no? yung, yung pang regular employee, how would they think? From there, you would be able to ask uh, or um, your, your leaders no? kung, kung ano yung mga possible challenges or possible things that you may be encountering when, when you pass on or when you, um, you know, carry on the, the directive. No? Kung sabi ni management, ganito siya. How would you be able to project that or convince your staff member to follow and to agree with the the, the idea of the management? So um, I'm sure now we have a lot of us um, experience wherein, you know, meron tayong mga staff member na mga, mga kumakareact, wagas, sabi nga natin. No? So yung mga ne negatrons or mga uh, negastar na sinasabi natin. Kung baga lahat na sasabi natin, no sila or they, they try to avoid it or negative sa kanila. So, um, anticipate. And, and it's also healthy to have such um, characters within or, you know, uh, members within within our team kasi sila mismo, kumbaga, they're trying to help you to think ahead, no? Parang to anticipate what if, what if. And those are, uh, those what ifs are, are, would help you strengthen yung kung ano man yung how you would carry out yung plan or yung 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 objective ng ng management or yung the task itself so you are more prepared well geared ka hindi pwedeng um sabi ka pupunta ka sa sa war no parang ang dala mo lang sarili mo kahit na magaling ka mag taekwondo and all eh ang kalaban mo barel so kahit na mag taekwondo ka uh, mas mabilis ang barel so how would you prepare yourself so it's it's good to have those kind of people as well no so try to appreciate them so when you face your your the management or your boss try to wear their shoes and then from there you you could have a discussion and then resolve what uh, the possible uh, misunderstanding or you would that would help you um, present the idea the project the task better to your staff and it would be easier for them to understand and mas mad nilang maintindihan mas madali silang susunod sa'yo. And that would make things um, flow easier. So, of course, definitely, ikaw mismo hindi ka naniniwala. Right? So, um, you have to agree with the with the idea para ikaw mismo makonvince mo yung staff mo to agree. But, again, there may be some instances wherein you cannot, uh, you do not agree with, even, even yourself, you do not agree with management. Right? So, so anong gag um, make the opportunity to talk to your um, superior or to your um, head, to your boss, to your immediate head. Um, questions na to. Kung baga, you're, you're, um, tell, tell the boss, it's not about questioning the idea or the direction. It's about preparing yourself. Um, employees might, 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 might see this ganito and, and then, kung baga, sineset mo rin na expectations. And if there are, uh, sabi nga natin, mas maganda, mas prepared ka na. So when you um, face your staff and discuss these things, mas ready ka. Pag alam mo na, pag may magko-question, meron ka ng sagot. But it's not, uh, we're not also expected to know everything. Baka meron kang na-miss na tanong or yung mga uh, hindi mo na-consider. And then, what you can um, tell your, your um, staff members, oh, that's a good point. Oh, let me uh, park that. Kumbaga, ililista ko yan. And then, I'll try to um, um, address that to, to management and see what, what we can do. And I'll get back to you. Parang ganon. So, by the time na alam mo na, you talk to your um, um, immediate head and then ask kung ano man yung concern na yun. And then, later on, you get back to your staff. Uh, yon. So, but, um, of course, no, mas, mas impressive or mas maganda kung lahat ng mga tanong nila or mga rebuttal, may, ng mga concerns ng mga staff mo, prepare ka and you have the right rebuttals or alam mo kung ano na isasagot. That's, that's far better. 
Yan, sabi nga natin. All right, so those are um, very critical setting expectations. So um, we have to um, be prepared, sabi nga natin. So I, I hope these are very helpful, no? Kasi for some, basta na, um, for some of us, ah, position yan, na-promote ako. It's, it's, well, it's just a title. But when we say it's a title, sabi nga ni, ni, ni Spider-Man, no? Greater, <laughs> greater power comes um, greater responsibility. So, laging magkaakibat yun. Lagi tayong merong responsibility. Alright. So, essential um, responsibilities as a staff. Just a quick rundown. Um... As, as a leader to um, uh, or as a staff ourselves, perform tasks according to your position or kung ano man yung mga um, expected uh, job description or uh, job expectations ang sinasabi natin. And we need to communicate feedback. Sabi ko, um, we have to react uh, positive or uh, not not so good. But again, when we present not so good uh, or sinasabi natin na bad feedback or negative feedback, I would say, we have to um, be careful. We have to uh, make sure that we have good choice of words kasi it could make or break your relationship or, you know, yung, yung motivation ng staff natin. So we have to be very careful um, with the words that we use, no? Um, there are certain things no, to consider. Pwedeng ang, ang isang sitwasyon, parang sabi nga natin, a great example would be uh, yung uh, pouring... Uh, uh, water dun sa, sa glass, no? Half full and half uh, empty, no? So, if on a positive looking at it, kung uh, dun sa parang not, not so favor, half uh, empty siya. So, yun, that, that's more of like parang ne, not so good, no? But when we see the brighter side or yung positive side of it, half full, wow, merong laman, something like that. So, it's a matter of um, choice of words also. We have to be very careful. As a leader, yun yung sinasabi natin, we have to be good communicator. Hindi pwedeng um, kahit na you're trying to give the, 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 the staff uh, a not so good feedback, we have to be very careful. Hindi dapat yan discouraging. Instead, when you tell them the unfavorable or not so good feedback, ang pick-up niyan is, ah, ito pala yung kailangan kong i-improve. It's more of like that. Kesa dun sa may isip ng, 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 ng staff mo na, ah, ito yung tinitira niya sa akin. You, you know, things like that. Nagiging neg negatron nga, sabi natin. So, yon And give support as a member of the same management. Ayan. And of course, uh, as, as a staff, we need to comply also ourselves, no? Uh, with the policies and processes set by the company. Ayan. All right. And essential responsibilities to staff. So as a leader to the staff, ano yung mga uh, basic responsibilities natin? We need the uh, we develop good morale. Of course, yung yung kailangan harmonious yung relationship natin. Kaya yung sinasabi natin na um, kaya we have to be very sensitive with the needs uh, and understanding every member of our um, team, no? And we have to stand for employees. So, our um, staff expects us to um, parang, um, yun nga, since we res represent them towards the management. So, if the management, if if you think that, you know, medyo agrabyado yung staff members mo, or um, the deal or the, the direction is not a, a good you know, position for, for our staff, you have to make that clear, no? So, um, yun yung expectations atin ng staff natin. All right, since we represent them. All right, and then of course, be fair to all. Um, ito, when, when we talk about fairness, no, kanina marami na comment about um, fairness, no? Um, and, and for some of us, siguro na experience natin to, no? Yung mga merong favoritism and all that. But on a positive light, um, siguro yung positive definition, ako kasi I'm a very optimistic person. No? I, I always see things in a positive uh, note, no? Uh, that, that's how I am, no? But um, being fair, pero the experience itself, no? Um, I, I know, I myself have experienced this one, no? Yung unfair, unfair, and, and all that. And for some of our staff, lagi nilang sinasabi to, no? Unfair naman, unfair naman, things like that. But as for me, no? Um, siguro, I have my, my own favorite employees for some of us siguro yung mga attendees natin no siguro tayo rin we feel that um, we have favorites no pero we're trying not to be 
uh, uh, parang um, tend to, to practice yung mga biases natin or yung mga favoritism. But uh, ako, no, uh, as a leader, um, if if I, I I know this member has a potential or siguro magaling siya when it comes to technical no or yung technology and all that, I would bank on on that and highlight ko yun. Sabi nga natin, we have to highlight those, no? Parang i-recognize natin para mas ma-motivate siya. And um, if I have a task na alam ko na kayang gawin ni ni, ni uh, member, reliable siya, de- dependable. Kumbaga, once you give the, him the task, consider it done. Parang ganun. So, ako, those are the my favorites, no? Kumbaga, if, 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 um, he or she would be able to to do um, some of my tasks, no. And it's it's not only um, you know um, freeing me from doing um, that task. It's also giving that employee or that staff the opportunity to learn. Kung ano yung nasa position mo, so making him ready. So ako yun yung mga favorite ko, no. And favorite ko rin yung mga taong mapag question. Yung sinasabi natin kaniya na mga ne- negatron or yung laging nagko complain because um, it helps you anticipate things, no. Um, kaya nga sabi natin when, when we talk to the management alam mo na agad ah sig alam ko na ganito mag-isip tong mga staff ko so i'll try to put my my shoes uh nila, sa kanila no so um this helps you think more or think bigger parang prepare yourselves better uh, when you present something to the management so uh, yeah but of course when you carry out yung yung negative definition kasi ng uh, favoritism would be giving favor to the person na kahit wala ka namang nakukuha sa kanya. Baligtad, siya ikaw ang nagbibigay sa kanya kasi meron kang nakukuhang personal. Pwedeng meron ka binibili, binibigyan kanya ng whatever, but um, that's that's favoritism on a personal. Yun yung mga uh, not so good definition of favoritism. But if it involves work, I would say, yeah, siguro mas maganda, you 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 play favorites. Kasi nga, yung, yung mga gustong mag-learn, yung gustong mag-react and all that, or nakakatulong sa staff, um, give them additional um, tasks, additional responsibility. So, and those person, which could consider those additional responsibilities as opportunities for both of you as a leader and for the staff himself. Ayan, sabi ni um, Demelin Gansera, uh, I learned from the feedback of my staff, which is right. Totoo naman. So, ganon. Mas nagiging open-minded, mas nagiging malawak yung, yung understanding natin as a, as a leader. All right? So, and of course, uh, whenever we have new new member of, of the group, no, we have to orient them, making sure that they know um, the policies sometimes, no. Um, well, that's basically in, in every company. Um, usually, ang in charge of orientation, no, yung mga company policies and all that would be HR. But as a leader, as uh, um, the head of, of your group, kailangan i-emphasize mo yung mga um, parang common, no, like about sa attendance, about sa, sa tardiness, about yung notification if malilate, mag absent, and a lot of things that are common, no. Kasi minsan, even us, no, I think we're all guilty about this one. During the company orientation, when we join a, a new company, apa, dahil marami, no, minsan um, information overload. Mer- nag- nagkakaroon tayo ng mga selective um, hearing, no, yung selective tayo when it comes to information. But at the same time, we tend to, um, you know, um, parang focus lang dun sa alam natin na, ay, ito maganda, ito, alam ko na. Eh, what if your staff um, is unable to, you know, retain that information d- during the ano. So, if ikaw oh, na yung parang follow through experience this, since it's it's a common parang um, misbehavior or common practice, no? And then, coordinate and plan work accordingly. And of course, yun nga, sabi natin kanil, yung details of, of uh, um, explaining the policies and be- even the benefits, like example, sa mga um, um, SSS example sa mga employees na uh, yung magna carta for for women yung sometimes we're not uh, uh, aware of those things no uh, pag pala halimbawa or yung sa sa um, pregnancy kapag nanganak so you're entitled for 100 days and all that so ito yung kailangan mo so those are the things that we need to um, better explain no or kapag merong um, namatayan yung family member yung bereavement leave so it's 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 part no sometimes 
um uh, namatay yung example no yung 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 staff tapos in, mag-absent siya it, it's it's part of labor lo na he or she is entitled to a paid leave no yung bereavement leave so things like that baka hindi dahil absent siya hindi na siya so these are the 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 common benefits that we should be aware of and making sure na um, kapag na-experience ng mga staff natin, we remind them of these things. Yan. Sabi ni uh, Mila Alcantara, as a staff, uh, a staff must be dedicated and committed at work. Ayan, sabi niya. Tapos, sabi naman ni Maria ba- Bauyon, Maria Margarita, plain favoritism is a very unethical behavior. As a manager, we should avoid it. Yan. Sabi nga natin, depende dun sa um, definition natin ng favoritism. O- on a negative note, uh, it's not a good practice. But on a positive note, making sure, sabi ko nga kanina, favorite mo to because that person is tries to initiate of, you know, helping you out, doing something. Yung mga i-carry out nila yung some of our tasks as a leader. And then, um, giving that person the opportunity to grow, to experience the leadership role, no? And then later on, kapag mag, mag, you need to, lumalaki na yung, sta, yung, yung team mo and you need to, um, ikaw, kasi the more you you, uh, you you get promoted, syempre ikaw mas maganda, you have to grow your, your team as well. You, you pull somebody, no? To take in that position. So that's how I view it. That's, that's how, um, yun nga, sabi natin, depende sa definition mo ng favoritism. Alright, but of course, make sure na lahat ng mga um, kaya sa nasabi natin na critical yung favoritism, it's because kailangan lalad natin lahat ng, ng staff members natin. Alam, acknowledge lahat natin ng kanilang strengths and weaknesses. Hindi lang focusing on one person. No. Everybody should 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 play a, a, a specific role. No? Para naman, ma-feel niya na uh, marerecognize siya or um, acknowledge siya ng member niya, or I mean ng, ng leader niya. Okay. Ayan, sabi ni, so ko lang bang dito, ni Ale Parasigan, favorite high potential employees who can deliver the tasks given beyond our expectations. Totoo naman yun eh. Um, kapag uh, you always appoint somebody to do this task, mapapansin ng mga staff, ay bakit siya? na naman. Eh, pero, ibig sabihin, meron silang nakikita output. It's, yun nga, sabi natin, kailangan yung favoritism or yung favor should be related sa work. Ibig sabihin, nagigain ang team, nagigain yung staff, uh, learning the potential, and you, nagig, nag, nagigain ka rin kasi you try to focus on a more parang critical task that, that or yung mga um, concerns natin. No? So, yun yung sinasabi natin. Alright, good. Essential um, responsibilities to management, um, plan the work of the department. Yeah, it's, this is given. Co- coordinate the department's work, interpret and um, implement management policies. Tayo ang pinaka uh, direct hand of the management to implement um, the, the policy or, you know, yung practice natin or yung culture ng, ng, ng company. And of course, yung control the costs. No? Uh, when we talk about costs, uh, it does not only involve money, but it, it could also uh, involve manpower or even yung resources nating machine or yung um, application or technology or even system. And make work assignments for the staff. So, al- kailangan alam natin na, ah, um, ito yung binigay sa atin ng management. Ito yung mga i-deliver ko. So, make sure na we know what to accomplish and when to accomplish them. Parang setting of priorities. All right. Um, we're, um, we're one hour, um, past due, no? That's a first module pa lang tayo. So, we'll try to, um, run through, um, the four modules, but, um, we'll be spending more time on the leadership. And since, if you have noticed, no, most of my discussion is on leadership na mismo agad. But, um, these are the things that we need to consider as part of the basic or management function. So planning, we say planning is a predetermined course of action. This is before. So thinking ahead. So this is um, noting down all the the things that we need to prepare. Kasi sabi nga natin kanina, mas maganda, mas prepared tayo. Um, versus dun sa susuong tayo sa, sa laban or sa war na wala tayong 
um, bitbit na na armor no um, to to fight no parang ganun so um, planning is is very helpful for us to minimize yung mga um, things no that that we could possibly avoid of and these are some of the advantages of planning provide means of achieving the purpose so ibig sabihin guided tayo alam natin kung anong direction natin if we prepared what are the next steps that we we know to 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 do after yung first task second task in achieving the the end uh, expected end result so we we are um ready kumbaga guided tayo properly with this one make use of best pra- resources so if um, we consider, sabi nga natin kanina, yung time, no? Minsan, we are given a, a specific task. Um, kailangan, um, one week ba yan? Ten hours? Or so, so alam mo, kung alam mong short ang time mo, you need to pick your your staff member who could help you out on this particular example sa technical. Oh, alam mo na kung sino yung ipipick mo. And these are um, highlighting their, 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 and taking advantage of their skills, uh, skills, no? O yung mga potentials nila. So, that could um, be uh, of great use as well. And then makes uh, supervisors work easier. Sabi nga natin kanina, yung when you delegate something, it's both beneficial dun sa supervisor because yun nga, you could focus more on the critical areas or yung mas priority or mas uh, parang uh, higher level um, um, tasks that would um, require higher level of management or thinking. No? And then yung mga kaya na mo nang i-delegate sa ibang staff, so it, it makes your, 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 your um, life easier. And of, overall, the team would benefit out of that kasi um, you could achieve, certainly, kung you're given 10 days um, to, to complete a specific project, eh, if you're able to uh, finish it 8 days lang, that's good. Well, you have time, no? yung 2 days pa remaining to, to do a, a double check, baka, you know, giving you the opportunity to improve further yung possible output. Okay, and then... This is based from a uh, base of control. So, dito natin makikita if if we are doing the right things, uh, are we going um doing things in, in the right direction? Sabi nga natin. All right. Um, okay. All right. So, key points in planning. Um, these are the key points. First one is forecasting. Uh, when we say forecasting, this is to estimate, no? Or um, for kung mga first time nating maga my experience, we say we we normally say it guesstimate, no? So we we don't have any idea, eh, but we are trying to anticipate lang how many or how much. So um, guesstimate. But if kasi sabi nga natin yung yung basic functions of uh, management, ulit ulit lang yan. So if we already have um, the data or historical data, we could use that historical data to estimate yung next or yung future natin. So as we have noted, sabi natin dito, estimate or predict future conditions, events, the needs, and um, even opportunities associated with um, the task. No, So um, in forecasting, we have two methods. We have qualitative, which involves uh, nature, uh, sub- subjective in nature, and um, uh, or yung perspective natin. Dependent. Kumbaga, it involves intuition. Um, gaano ba sila? Or it, it, it is based from the gut feel. No? While the other method of forecasting is quantitative. So, um, this is more of a uh, more objective um, in nature. These are based on facts na sinasabi natin kanina. So, um, if Yung, yung for, if a forecast or yung estimate natin na example, we are given a task na um, to accomplish usually on, on a regular basis, we are able to accomplish those in five days. But sometimes the, the staff or I mean the management is expressed on time na, oh, instead of five, five, uh, five days, can you do it three days? So ikaw mismo alam mo na kung ah, ito um, realistic ba o hindi. Things like that. So you would have to check on the the historical data and see kung bang ah ito bang uh, 3 days kaya ba based dun sa ganito ganun so if hindi kaya and then you could um, negotiate with the management oh instead instead usually it's it's 5 days but um you you um would like to uh, you you want us to achieve this in 3 days so let's t- give me additional resources give me additional help so alam mo na yung mga conditions and you have to add um, yung mga kailangan ko na mag overtime kailangan ko na extra um, manpower and all that so from there you would know so these are very helpful when it comes to um, 
forecasting, no? um, planning ahead. And then another key point is developing objectives. Sabi natin, this is to establish the results of um, the results to be accomplished by the team. No? So we always hear this no? uh, when setting objectives, be smart. When we say be smart, it stands for specific. Kailangan alam mo kung ano yung specific na um, direction or um, actions or steps that you would your team would be doing, no? And then measurable. Is it something na um, ke, ha, how would you know? Kung bang nasa 50% ka na, 80% na na, or ma-achieve mo ba yung 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 um, task given sa um, given the time as well, no? So you have to make sure na um, when you set ah, um, this this thing, I, I need to um, attain this siguro, um, 80% would be done in, in four days or things like that. So, kailangan meron kang uh, um, source of measurement. no. And then, num A is for attainable. Is it something that your team could 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 achieve? Kasi, yun nga, baka sobrang unrealistic naman. Sabi nga natin, kaya nga, um, R is, is relevant or realistic. Um, sometimes, we are given impossible uh, goal, no? By, by management. That's why dito pumapasok yung sabi natin kanina na negotiation skills of, of the leader. But if in case you have no choice but to follow, so kailangan papasok naman din yung mga kailangan mong um, consideration like additional resources or system process or what, what have you. And of course, when you set objectives, kailangan meron kang time bound. Hindi pwedeng merong ibibigay sa yung um, project and management kung kailan mo lang gusto matapos. Hindi. Normally, of course, it's you have to... Um, measure or you have to set some some timelines no sabi ni Felicima Romero additional smarter s is smarter good e is to evaluate and r uh, revise yeah y- yan yung mga um kailangan nating i-consider in trying to achieve and develop or come up with certain team objectives or even the company objectives all right another key point to um planning Programming, this is to establish the sequence and priority of actions, action steps to be followed in achieving the set objectives earlier. So programming, ito yung setting of priorities. Ano dapat ang unahin? So um, programming, it's not about yung, yung technical, no? yung mga programmers and all. But um, as part of planning, no? um, we, we set oh, um, this step, ito, ito ang mga resources na kailangan i-prepare. So, you, you prepare that ahead of time. O on on this um, specific task, ito yung mga kakailanganin natin. Or ano dapat ang mauuna sa, you know, yung setting of priorities. So, in that way, mas, mas maganda yung magiging flow natin. And we are guided accordingly. And another key point is scheduling. This is to establish the time sequence for program um, steps. Sabi nga natin kanina, uh, how how long... Uh, ilang oras, sino ang gagawa ng ano. So, we have to be very careful. It's it's part of planning. Uh, yun nga, identifying uh, the key persons who would do best. If you have more time to um, complete the task, pwedeng yung, kahit hindi yung mga experts na or yung, yung usual um, team member na gumagawa yun. If you see some possible potential or merong nag initiate from another group member, let him do that. Um, train mo ulit yon. So, yun yung mga um, pwedeng um, i-pitch in mo, no? Um, if if you have the right scheduling, no? Uh, alam mong i-anticipate yung mga time and, and all that. So, it could also an oppor- be an opportunity for additional or new um, potential leader within your your group. So, it, it's very important. But of course, kung very short lang yung um, time, choose the, the best people to do such um, tasks para ma-manage natin yung Another is budgeting. When we say resources to achieve an objective within a specified period of time, when we talk about budgeting, again, it's not only about money. It's not only about cost. It's also about manpower resources. It's also about the story yung kung ano yung mga lahat ng kakailanganin natin. So sometimes when when we um budget no um per department I'm not sure if if, if uh, a lot of us um from from here no na sinasabi natin na um uh, meron tayo we, we 
we present yung mga budgets natin per um, sa, sa management no during the the uh, strategic planning and all that no we 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 take note of the budget sometimes we are given specific budget so alam mo na agad kung itong budget na to okay lang ng madagdaga no hindi so it's it's very important that we know how to to budget sabi ko kanina kanina 5 days uh, a, a, a specific project is given to us 5 days natin siya on a regular 8 to 5 or uh, 8 hour work per day um with five staff example ma-achieve natin within 5 days but if you are pressed with time sabi sabi ng management 3 3 days lang instead of the 5 so usually kung 5 people times um um, 8 hours per day times 5. So, yun yung mga computation natin ng regular. Ngayon, for us to achieve yung um, 3 days, we have to recalculate. O kailangan merong addi either additional manpower, um, magdadagdag ako ng dalawa o tatlo to replace yung or to to, to cover yung dun sa 2 days. Or you could ask your staff to render overtime. So, yun yung budgeting. And of course, uh, pag nag-overtime, meron yung extra pay. Um, you could do such you could ne negotiate that with the management f but if the the cost is parang hindi kailangan ito lang ang budget mo and then ako what what i do is that i could ask um um staff to to render overtime pero the following day late silang papasok para walang extra pero complete pa rin yung yung hours nila parang ganun so you could um practice trade off so you could negotiate with uh, either the management or the your staff members for such or ako mis, minsan medyo, medyo generous din ako halimbawa instead na ang overtime niya is 2 hours eh since long hours na yung work and then magre-render pa ng another 2 hours uh, the following day pwedeng bibigyan ko siya o pwede kang um, you can you could come in um, 3 hours later kumbaga instead na 7 o'clock ka pumasok at 10 o'clock parang bonus mo na yun na parang um, may encourage sila at hindi nila feeling na talo si ang staff. So, di ba? Things like that. You could be creative as possible para mas ma-motivate and hindi masyadong feel, ma-feel ng staff mo na parang uh, parang na-outsmart sila or, you know, uh, sabi nga natin sa na-agarabiyado sila. Alright? So, part of planning is is delegating. So, we entrust others uh, about yung sabi ko nga kanina na magkakamag-anak, no? Um, we give them the authority we um they they take responsibility and um they are also accountable for the output so ganun tayo as a leader no so but uh, at the same time ganun then when when we delegate uh, a task um we have to pass on also the authority o pag binigay ko sa iyo itong itong task na to o ikaw you, you lead this um project make sure na ano siya um you you, you have to um parang uh, advise the team members oh starting tomorrow um, example, Ramil will be leading. So, kung ano yung sasabihin niya, you follow him. And if you have any questions, you, you have to course through or you, you have concerns, address it to, to him. Parang, hindi pwedeng yung merong, um, i-delegate mo kay, kay Ramil, pero kapag merong hindi, uh, lalo na kung pare-pareho silang staff uh, members, no? Normally, some 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 members may not recognize that, no? Um, pwedeng, pag meron silang concern kay Ramil, pupunta sila, dediretso sila sa'yo, no? You're not giving the, Ramil uh, uh, the authority. So, make sure na that is very clear. You have to set some expectations, sabi ko nga kanina. So, it's very important to set expectations. All right, concepts of delegating, yun nga, responsibility, authority, and accountability. Laging magkakamag-anak to. Laging magkakasama to. Hindi pwedeng mag, magbibigay ka ng responsibility na walang authority. Hindi pwedeng magbibigay ka ng uh, um, you will um, hold the, the person accountable if you did not um, give him the, the right you know um, direction or yung responsibility or even the authority. Okay. Uh, module number three. Excuse me. Organizing. So when we say organizing, this is to arrange and correlate the work to be done so that people can perform things effectively. So organizing, ito isa sa mga pinakamahirap na gawin, no? Especially if you have, uh, ako, I myself is, is struggling with this organizational skills, no? Kasi um, I have so much in my, in my, my mind, no? Minsan ang hirap kung kaya kailangan isusulat ko muna and then... Um, a good practice of uh, when when we talk about organizing is that 
if you have a lot of ideas or even when when you talk about uh ideas sa sa mga staff mo no it's better to list them down para alam mo kung ano yung mga ah it, ito mas ito priority to ito yung ganun things like that so and you can allocate um members to do what when and how so it's it's always better to list down para alam mo kung paano mo silang i-organize. So parang ano ba yan sa example no sa isang um, supply room or pwedeng halimbawa sa ref no bago kung gusto mong i-organize ayusin yung yung ref mo no. Ilabas mo muna lahat. O magkakasama ito puro mga drinks, ito puro mga ganito and kailangan makita mo muna lahat yung mga things to consider. So uh, as a leader siguro it would be very helpful to list down all the things that you need to do and then i-number mo sila i set mo yung priorities ano dapat yung mauuna mong gagawin and all that because mahirap if ah ito naisip ko o ito gawin mo um, staff member one gawin mo to and then ito naisip ko ay staff member two gawin mo to pero yung timing you would not be able to know kung um, are are you going on the right direction hindi so you have to make sure na ano yung priority ano yung mauuna dapat No? So, normally, ganito tayo, ganito yung mga challenges ng mga leaders, no? Because disorganized tayo or we don't know um, how to prioritize things, which is yung sabi nga natin. For some of us, siguro familiar tayo dito yung parang yung, yung merong quadrant tayo na um, urgent, critical, critical, uh, parang um, important or, you know, things like that or important pero hindi naman siya time-bound. So, things are, you have to find the balance kung yung setting of priorities. Merong urgent and critical. Meron namang urgent but not so critical. Meron namang critical pero uh, not urgent. You know, things like that. All right. Um, module number four, leading. Uh, sorry ah, yung ambilis ng previous slide on delegating. So yon yung yung delegating lang um, it's it's about um, giving authority no um, responsibility and um, responsibility and accountability to staff. So I think ito yung delegating no since meron na comment no um, gusto ko lang balikan. Delegating is is actually um, very hard for us to 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 do no um, as a leader. It hindi siya madaling gawin um, because It involves trust dun sa capability ng staff natin, how confident we are if we are to pass on um, the, the responsibility, the authority, or even the, the accountability, or yung task mismo. No? Kasi at the end of the day, ikaw ang responsible sa management. So sometimes, ito yung maraming barriers no? um, in, in delegating. And we could um, talk about that further no? when we do the, the full course. Mas uh, mag, mag bibigay tayo ng examples and and activities regarding that no but um delegating is is really um something na um very hard to do um we have to consider a lot of factors and there are possible barriers and we could know we could identify some barriers um barriers no um para ma, ma overcome natin do and it would be easier for us to delegate staff and then okay moving um back to um the fourth module leading we say leading is to uh, the ability to influence people in taking effective actions so yung influence natin sabi nga uh, as leaders we drive our staff members we drive them to the direction that we need to be and we 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 pour in the culture that we would want to to have no um sometimes kahit na ang ang company meron siyang sarili niyang culture no but even each department or each group merong iba-iba pa ring ano parang mini mini um um tawag, culture no like pwedeng when you when you see other groups ay hindi sila ganito yung ambiance sa kanila when they talk to the, the 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 leader iba yung parang hindi open and all that meron naman na halimbawa in my case kasi since i'm very open to feedback and uh, i enjoy asking kasi that's how I would say how brave enough I am no uh, um, because I ask for ano yung mga thoughts so ito yung gagawin natin what are your your thoughts kumbaga I involve my my staff more no kaysa dun sa etong si ito yung naisip ko ipagagawa ko lang sa kanila bigla no kasi nga um, later on you will end up parang ikaw ang hirap mo silang pasunurin or ang hirap mong ma-accomplish ang isang task if um ikaw la kumbaga it's one way ang 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 flow no ng 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 work no so mas maganda na 
you have this idea before you present the idea you ask them muna para alam mo how you would react when 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 you present the idea kumbaga na prepare mo na nasa psych mo na rin yung yung sarili mo and you know preparing your staff members as well so when when we do this um meron tayong ganung um, kind of culture compared sa iba and sometimes this is more comfortable ako that's that's how i i have seen it no kasi i i uh, uh, i was able to manage a lot of you know and I, every time that I have uh, a team, yung mga good practices ko from my previous teams, yun yung na-apply ko. Yung mga hindi ko na-accomplish, na I have, I, I make sure na, ah, ito. And, and, you know, it, it's sabi nga natin, no? um, it's a continuous learning. Even those people na talagang kahit na 40 years and how many years na sila nag-lead ng tao, meron at meron bago. Um, e- even even myself, no? I, I've been um, doing this for more than two decades. But, um, every time na merong situation, you you experience a new parang um, character or new situation. Uh, dati ginawa ko to, eh, pero ito yung ganitong um, ang gagawin kong um, strategy. And sometimes it, it may not work kasi baka iba yung personalities or iba yung reception ng, ng current team mo. Yung nagawa mo before na effective, baka hindi siya effective with this one. So, things like that. So, you, you have to be very creative and you have to be very observant, no? Um, yun yung sinasabi natin na yung flexibility ng, ng uh, leaders. That's very important. Ayan. And activities of leading. One is decision making. Decision making is a skill also, no? Um, as a leader, you, you take... Um, actions and you decide on certain things if you can't decide on pag binigyan ka ng pinapa-decide ka a or b and you can't decide naku parang red alert yan na you you don't have you're not yet you're not there yet as a leader kasi as a leader you you take action and you have to take decision yun lang kung takot kang mag-decide because ay baka hindi ito baka hindi tama or you know things will go wrong or you will not be successful you will not grow as a leader but if you take action when you decide on some things kahit na maganda o hindi masyado maganda ang kalalabasan sabi nga natin kanina ikaw yung um, dahil ikaw yung you have the authority you are accountable and you are responsible whatever the outcome is ngayon if hindi maganda yung naging turn out um, i tell you um Laging gain yan. Um, hindi man maging maganda yung um, result according to sa sinet mong expectations. But the experience itself would make you grow. So next time na may experience mo, similar thing, mas alam mo na kung ano yung gagawin mo or mas alam mo na kung ano yung um, i-avoid mo or i-decision mo. And decision making is a skill, sabi nga natin. Kapag ginagawa mo to, nagiging kang quick thinker, sabi natin, na pinapractice mo yung decision making, na improve mo. Sabi nga natin, skills could be developed. Skills um, could be trained. No? Um, iba kasi yung um, sabi natin, talent. No? Talent is, kahit na, like in my case, kahit na ilang beses akong mag-practice ng uh, pagkanta, I don't have the talent to sing. Kahit na ba mag-aral ako, you know, professional. Siguro mag improve ang boses ko, but I, I may not be as good as others na may talent. So, but as yung skills, even if you don't have the experience itself, pero pinapractice mo and train ka, mag improve ka. So, um, in the same case, decision-making, you have to practice it. Kasi pag hindi mo napapractice, hindi ka nade-develop yung quick thinking. Kanina, merong nagbanggit na quick thinker or get act uh, immediately or um, decide immediately, sabi nga kanina. Because it's, it, it could be... It's a skill that you need to develop. And then number two is communicating. Ito, um, communicating, this is one critical area that we always um, fail to do. Uh, ang alam lang natin, ang communicating, most of us or siguro generally, communicating is saying the things that we need to say. But hindi, but the communication process, sabi nga natin, napag-aralan natin way back from our, from the school, no? It, it's a two-way process. You, you you say that the merong parang speaker, merong receiver, kailangan yung receiver, meron mag-speak din siya, and yung speaker magiging receiver para magkakaroon ng understanding. It, it's a process. Kailangan buo siya, hindi pwedeng one way. So, normally, when when we communicate sa mga staff natin, basta sinabi lang natin kung ano yung sasabihin natin, parang ganun. So, it, it's not uh, it's not a complete process, and it's not a, uh, don't expect 
that to be successful or ma- ma- successful mo ma communicate you have to know and you have to listen to the reactions to the ideas comments feedback of your staff no same thing ikaw din towards management you have to make sure that pinakinggan mo kung ano yung gustong paggawa ng management or ng, ng boss mo and make sure you analyze it and then uh, if i understand it correctly ganito ba yung gusto mo so kailangan kina-clarify yon so ganito tayo usually na no? tayo as a member no as a member of a team or or, or you know yung meron tayong superior meron siyang ibibigay na, na instruction sa atin or task or project sometimes okay tayo ng okay or even our staff members ganito pag meron kasi sabihin sa kanila yes man naintindihan yes yes lang ng yes but during the process or when when they finish the the project or yung task iba yung result parang hindi yung expect mong result so it means merong breakdown sa communication so it, it's very important for us to make sure that kung ano yung na communicate sa atin kasi merong mga taong hindi mag, ma, mag marunong or magaling when it comes to saying things or explaining things pero magaling sila ang skills and, and all that so as as a leader we need to make sure that everything is clear so sabi nga natin um ba diba, meron siyang binigay na instruction ng ang um boss mo boss if i understand it correctly ganito ba yung gusto mong paggawa ganito ganito at yung result ganito ganito at at uh, ang time ang um, time frame natin is ganito ganito if nag na, na validate mo sa boss mo na tama yung gagawin mo at least pareho kayo you're on the same page and you're not wasting so much resources tao or even time or even yung cost di ba so that's that's very important ito usually yung na-overlook natin as leaders. And then, you do the same. When when you talk to your, when you carry out the, the instruction or the task or you communicate things no to your um, staff, so explain. And then get their feedback. Pwedeng may magtatanong sa'yo. Pwedeng oo oh, 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 lang yan para matapos ng usapin. Ikaw as a leader, make sure that they understand it. Kasi sabi nga natin kanina, it could, um, you could waste um your time your resources cost and and everything else no? at the end of the day merong responsible ka sa mga sa sa, sa boss mo na you have to achieve this as hindi mo ma-achieve given the time no so it's better na o oh, sige if how do you understand it anong gusto natin you know you, you probe questions so hangga't makita mo sa kanila or ma-satisfy ka na ah pareho you're on the same page kasi mahirap na oh, madal, madal, madalas eh madaling umoo pero yung gagawin mo na minsan i know we're guilty of this no kumbaga nakinig ka sa instruction okay pero pag gagawin mo na, ano nga yung ano paano nga siya ano nga daw yung you, you know things like that so doon pumapasok as you progress no as you, as you do the task itself so yun yun sabi nga ni uh, sabi nga ni Alex Espinola seek first to understand then to be understood uh, according kay tama si Stephen Covey ito favorite ko rin niya na ano uh, and then from Miss Montiel Jasmine it's about connectivism uh, between the staff supervisors and management right so it's a matter of yung yun nga yung yung communication it's a two way process kailangan buo yan ang speaker to listener ang listener magiging speaker ang speaker magiging listener para ma-complete yung process so that is very important. And sabi ko nga kanina, this is uh, one of the common things na ang hirap i-overcome. And if as as a leader you're aware of that, alam mo na kung anong gagawin mo. Always validate, no? Kasi mag-waste ng resources, um, ng money, ng time, and, and all that. And then another is uh, motivating. So ito yung uh, common na nakita natin kanina, uh, good motivator may motivation, driver, and all that. So, um, as a leader, sabi ko nga kanina, it's always good that that you set expectations. Ikaw, paano ka bang motivate? So, you write them down. Kung ako, paano ba ako motivate ng boss ko? You write them down. So, at least from there, you would be able to um, analyze, you would be able to understand, and you would be able to anticipate and um, be more creative. Paano ko nga bang may, mamomotivate ang staff ko? So, uh, motivation, alam naman natin, it's not all, well, top would be money, no? Money-driven ang mga tao. That's human nature. But, uh, depende. It's not all the time um, when we, um, it, it motivates uh, people, no? Uh, there are some, siguro some of us here or some of your staff, kahit na hindi mataas ang sweldo, 
basta happy ang, ang, ang environment or yung culture, they're, they're okay with that. So, it motivates them to, to work hard or to work harder. So, meron namang iba rin, basta lang na, na, na kahit na walang monetary value, basta nare-recognize siya because you're hungry for, for parang attention o merong staff na gusto niya maingay and magulo and all that para ma-motivate siya to, to, to buy you in doon sa mga ideas mo. I-acknowledge mo siya, oh, yung idea ni ganito, maganda. So, ma- alam mo yun, na-excite siya. Or yung mga taong or yung mga staff members mo na hindi masyadong nagsasalita. Kaya sabi natin kanina, you have to be very observant. Yung mga hindi masyadong nagsasalita, sila yung tanungin mo una. Para sa ayot sa gusto nila, kailangan nilang sumagat. So, para next time, and napapractice yun, next time when you meet them, Mag, magre-ready na yan. Kumbaga, ay baka ito yung, ito yung topic namin pag-uusapan. Ito, ganyan. So, siya mismo may encourage And you have to acknowledge whatever the feedback. Ah, yan. Kumbaga, kung ang hinahanap mong answer is hindi yung sinagot niya. Acknowledge pa na, ah, yan. Um, it could, it, one, that is a good possibility. Pwedeng mangyari. So, acknowledging para alam niya na, na hindi siya mali. Kasi pag minalim, sabi niya, ay mali ka, ah, don't expect that stuff to talk late, even later. Kumbaga, na-shutdown mo na siya. Meron mga ganun personality. Meron namang mga personality na kahit na-shutdown mo siya, talagang dahil, you know, yung meron talagang sasabihin or opinionated or sasabihin at sasabihin niya. Like ako, personally, na <coughs> opinionated ako. So, but at the same time, open din ako. So, open-minded ako, but opinionated din ako. So, I have to, uh, uh, parang, I can't, I can't contain myself but to um, say my, my thoughts. But in, of course, in a professional at saka yung namang uh, magandang way. No? But if in case my thoughts or yung, yung idea ko hindi masyadong, hindi yung acknowledge, it's okay. Kasi baka next time, yung another idea ko, masabi ko na and, and all that. Right. So yun. According to Charlene Javier, motivation depends uh, the people, the things, the things that will motivate them. So yun nga, iba-iba yung motivational factors. Sabi, meron tayo, ano, uh, academically, merong intrinsic and extrinsic. Yung mga intrinsic is yung self-motivation or inner um, motivation. Pwedeng sa personality mo. Ma- 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 improve mo yung confidence level mo. That's a good motivation. Meron namang extrinsic, yung, which is yun nga, sabi natin, money or yung mga recognition, yung mga kailangan, merong uh, freebies, merong kailangan certificate, mga, things like that. Okay. Um, Next is developing people. So, as a leader, uh, as I've mentioned earlier, sabi natin, we have to know yung mga strengths and weaknesses of our staff. So, yung mga strengths nila, i-highlight natin and make use and take advantage of those. While yung mga weak, alam mo, yung staff mo, ito yung weakness niya, invest on that. So, pay attention. Exert more effort to to that person or kayo, you work with with him. Yung, doon pumapasok yung coaching and all that. So, kailangan, um, kung hindi siya technically magaling sa sa technology or sa mga application or sa system, find time. Pwedeng within the period of uh, working period or pwedeng you can ask or gusto mo ba na mag-attend ng ganito or something or gusto mo ba mag-sit down with ganito. You know, you, you, you ask also kung ano. Mas maganda, mas involved siya. Uh, baka kasi pinapagawa mo sa kanya ito, pero ayaw naman niya. So, again, it, it's a it should be an agreement. Kailangan pareho kayong willing kasi, again, you're setting um, good expectations or expectations you as a leader sa staff and yung staff. So, para you're on the same direction. Sabi ni Felicissima, Felicissima Romero, try to study the, the understanding what drives a person to work towards a particular goal. Yun, yun yung sinasabi natin na kailangan observant ka. So, um, you should know as a leader what are the things that this person or your member to develop. So, kung kailangan, lalo na kapag mayroong bagong task, no, bagong project, and um, you lack person na may expertise or may background when it comes to technical, spend time. O train another person to do this. Yung, yung siguro mas magiging comfortable when it comes to um, the system. No? So, kailangan alam mo yun. And hindi pwedeng i-expect mo to sa, sa staff member mo na magawa niya, eh wala nga siyang skills doon or wala siyang experience or wala siyang background when it comes to that. So you have to invest. You have to find time na uh, either mag-attend ng training or ikaw mismo, sit down mo siya side by side, things like that. All right. Okay. Sabi natin, um, ito, very common, boss versus leader. Uh, yan. O, on the boss side, drives employees 
um, uses uses uh, employees commands depends on authority micromanages generates fear demands respect makes employees feel inferior so yun yung des description natin usually ng boss no versus leader leaders are uh, leads uh, employees develops employees asks um, depends on goodwill inspires enthusiasm earns respect makes uh, employees feel valued and trust employees uh will uh, they will perform their job well so ayan uh, syempre kapag tatanungin ko anong mas maganda dito siguro 100% of us would say leader no o, sabi ni ni miss ni, ni AJ po yat ang boss parang old school of leadership no um, pero I think mag-agree tayo na mas gusto natin yung description ng leader, tama? Which is better? If if I ask you which is better, boss, being a boss or being a leader, we would say being a leader, right? Can I get a reaction? Yan. So, leader, tama. But I would say we need to um uh, know how to strike a perfect balance. Kailangan balance. Eh. And there are instances wherein you need to be a boss. And most of the time, we prefer to be a leader. But there, it depends. Uh, depending on the situation. Um, again, sabi ko nga, um, as a leader, we have to be uh, flexible. Sometimes yung description natin ng uh, boss, no? parang masyadong negative. But there are certain cases. No? Like example, meron kang staff, there are staff uh, members na um, Basta inintrust mo sa kanya, alam niya nang gagawin niya. That is macro, no? Pero meron mga staff na gusto niya step by step. Uh, turuan mo siya. So that is micromanaging. So depende yon And there are um, situations wherein you you don't have the luxury of time to let the, to ask your staff. Um, you don't have the luxury of time to um, uh, ask them sino yung may gusto, sino yung gagawa ng ganito. No, sometimes you have to just appoint Kasi you, you, you're pressed with time. So, kailangan um, alam mo when to act as a boss, no? Kahit na hindi sa, sa tingin natin, yung parang human nature natin or parang normal uh, interpretation natin, pag being a boss is, is not good. But, again, dun sa perspective natin. Uh, um, kasi nakikita natin ang boss as a negative word, no? Kasi because of being bossy, no? Being bossy meaning uh, parang sa tingin natin or yung hindi magandang pag-iisip or parang description. He doesn't listen, he doesn't respect, he doesn't and, and all that. But the clear, the more clear, uh, the, the clearer and the, uh, the more professional uh, interpretation or description of a boss is parang mas assertive or aggressive. Yung kailangan, um, depending on the situation, he would act as a boss. No, meron nang nasusunog na particular um, yung system mo. Hindi pwedeng, magtatanong ko muna kung sino, ang, sino bang may alam, bakit anong nangyari, ano, hindi pwede. Kailangan, you take action. O ikaw, patayin mo, you, you know, you, 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 you assert. Kailangan, mabilis. And you have to do quick thinking and, and um, decide um, immediately. But if you have the luxury of time, lang ba, mayroong uh, situation na kailangan i-analyze muna and all that. So, o pag-usapan, i-sit down natin and all, and, you know, magkakaroon ng um, meeting, con com communication and all that. So, that's good. But again, uh, in our situation, in our daily lives, may it be in a corporate setup or um, parang um, sa academe or even sa industrial, sa... Uh, manufacturing industries, iba-iba, um, depende sa situation. We have different situations that we have to um, act accordingly. Kaya we need to strike a balance, sabi nga. Minsan merong mga staff member pa tayo na mas bossy pa sa atin. Sila, oh, sila na maging leader, parang ganun. Sometimes kailangan pakita mo na ikaw ang mas matigas or ikaw yung mas um, parang dinidemand mo yung respect nga. Kasi nga, ako yung nasa position eh, you have to follow whatever. Yung ganun, mayroon mga ganong instances. But again, it's not always na ganun ka dapat. Again, depende sa situation. 
Sabi, let me just um, browse some some feedback from Pia Angelica Gabriel. Um, democratic leadership does not always lead to development. Discipline does. Parang parang sa bayan lang din yan. Yeah. Oo, yung mga politics natin. No? Uh, needs to balance it. Boss can delegate and be authoritative when needed, but you cannot be a successful boss if you are not a leader. I agree with AJ po yet. No? Totoo yun. So, But again, going back, sabi nga natin, we need to strike a balance. So, additional from Pia Angelica Gabriel, situational leadership, sometimes sometimes you need to be authoritarian, sometimes democratic. So, yun nga yung balance. I think the culture of our system is more of a boss. Uh, siguro, no, yung, yung parang old school. Unless the boss itself or yung leader mismo open-minded siya. Or uh, kaya nga, sometimes magandang nag aten tayo ng mga ganitong conferences. It's because we tend to listen or hear different perspectives. And that helps us. Kaya nga kanina, nasa house rules ko, we have to be very open-minded. And the mere fact that we're attending this, because we want to learn. And we have, we want, we need to listen. We need to hear um, different opinions. And yun, arali natin from, from um, within us and then, um, will will uh, kumbaga meron tayong mga reserve possible strategies or mindset no in trying to understand our role and then mas alam mo kung ano yung i-apply mo um while you know uh, managing your your respective team members there's always balance kasi pag mabait naman inaabuso will ma bit ma totoo yon kaya nga kailangan balance eh so um you need to know when to be a boss and when to be a leader but essentially, sabi natin, yung boss, it's still a leadership uh, skills, no? Being a leader, parang ano lang siya, parang ginawa natin now na ito yung um, adjective um, descriptions niya, no? Or yung boss, ito yung mga descriptions niya. So, but essentially, boss, leader, uh, parang title lang yun eh, yung boss na sinasabi natin. Kaya lang, madalas lang natin siyang ina-associate sa being bossy. Kaya nagiging siyang negative na na mindset, no? Ganun natin siya nakikita. But essentially, this is also um, leadership skills, no? Being boss, being a boss. So, de depending on the situation. Alright, so I think everybody now um, would agree with me na, you know, we need to to strike a, a balance, no? Sabi natin, no? Um, sometimes you have to be a boss and sometimes you have to be a leader. But generally, when, when you develop things, um, you need to be considerate and, you know, you have to be there observant what to do and what to consider. Okay, we only have about 10 minutes. Module 5, um, controlling. So what is controlling? We say that this is to assess and regulate um, the work in progress and um, assess the results secured. So when we say controlling, kanina nabanggit natin yung merong budgeting, no? Um, if... Planning is predetermined course or yung mga preparation or before. Ang controlling naman is during siya. Parang as we progress, yun nga, sabi natin. Kapag na-perform na, 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 na yung task, these are the things that we need to prepare. Kung from the planning, o oh, if think if step one, merong mangyaring ganito, merong if, if, if ever, meron siyang, um, meron kang prepared alternative course of action to do para makorek mo agad if um, things are not um, going the right direction or kumbaga you're not parang um, you're, you're near to failing or hindi mo ma-achieve yung goal mo. So controlling is this one, yung assess, yung kumbaga as the task is being done, chinecheck mo, ini-evaluate mo na agad kung anong nangyayari. And you could take action immediately o kailangan mo nang i-pitch in ito. Ito yung alternative course of action. What if, what if. So, yung controlling is more of what if. Alright? And then, ano yung mga, based dun sa planning, ito yung mga gagamitin natin. Okay? At saka, yun, magagamit natin yung organizing uh, also. Planning, organizing, um, leading, organizing, and ito nga yung controlling. So, lahat yan, there, those are interdependent factors, no? Uh, uh, for basic management. And activities of controlling, so measuring performance, evaluating, uh, uh, and correcting performance. So, um, in in the re in our regular um, um, full, full, full course of, of this module, yung um, basic foundation, no? We'll have activities 
um, addressing yung mga common issues natin, especially when it comes to um, communicating or yung mga um, communicating the performances of our staff, no? Pwedeng absenteeism, yung mga uh, misbehavior, and, and things like that. So, um, we would be able to learn further how to, 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 to do the countermeasure or yung mga controlling part. So, um, I, I think yun, yung controlling is, is one um, real time. It's it's a real time process na that we need to um, adapt to us as uh, a leader. So, correcting performance. So, we have to rectify or improve the work being done and the results secured. So, yun yung sinasabi natin kanina, real time. No? And there are three types of um, correcting performances. The first one is coaching. Ayan. We would be able to learn how to uh, motivate, to coach, to um, identify our staff potential, um, what are the things that we need to, to develop or yung ano yung mga skills na ma-identify ma natin and, you know, uh, improve them. And then this is more of like yung supporting um, how to support the staff, uh, parang share yung knowledge or yung experiences. And of course, yung, yung um, direct magandang... Um, um, way of, of guiding the staff to be a better uh, performer. And then yung counseling and um, disciplining. Counseling is, is you know, um, sitting down with the staff privately and, you know, going through the, the, the issues and then try to resolve them accordingly. And of course, in disciplining. Um, those are the three correcting, uh, three types of correcting performance. So when we say coaching, it is a directive process uh, by a supervisor to train and orient an employee to the realities of the workplace and to help the employee remove barriers to optimize yung work performance niya. So it's a directive process no? to train and orient. Parang uh, guiding the staff ano yung right um, path or right thing to do. While counseling is a supportive process by a superior to help the employee define and work through personal issues no, affecting the job performance. So yung coaching, it's uh, performance-related or work-related issues siya na i-address mo. While counseling, it's uh, meron siya mga personal issues affecting the work itself. So kaya ganun, that is the... the the difference, so yung mga merong problema sa, sa bahay, tapos pagdating nila sa ano, um, ganito, and, and all that. So, those are the, the difference. And, of course, disciplining is is more of correcting the staff based dun sa mga company policies and rules natin. So, this is more of a form of a control instead of um, sa atin kasi parang punishment, no? Usually, pag sinabing madidiscipline, um, Parang punishment agad. No, it's a matter of helping the staff avoid to avoid yung mga grave issues natin no? or pwedeng um, it could um, possibly affect their employment no? kung baka ma-terminate sila and all that. So these are some of the um, things that we need to consider. So it's again, it's a, con a form of control to protect not only the interests of the company but the employees themselves because employees themselves, they have rights no kaya sabi nga natin dun sa labor they may labor law okay all right so just a, a quick um, summary the four um, basic management management functions planning uh, that is to perform uh, i mean to to predetermine a course of action organizing is to arrange and to correlate the work to be done so that it can be performed effectively by your members or your staff and while leading is um, to in, the ability to influence people in performing effective action or effectively and um, yon. Um, controlling is to assess and regulate the work in progress and to assess the results secured. Ayan. So, yan yung um, four basic management function natin. P-O-L-C. All right. So, these are some of the criteria. Uh, of an effective supervisor. Um, he or she gets the right results and get things done through people in his presence or absence. Build morale and most of all, wins respect. So regardless kung nandyan ka or wala ka, um, your staff would, would be doing what they're expected to be or kung ano dapat nilang gagawin. Sometimes pag nandyan ka, saka lang sila nag-work. So um, you would know that even if absent ka or you're, you're not 
in in the working place or baka meron ka meeting, alam mo, nagpa-function sila on their own without you parang supervisor or looking at them. So, it's it's a, a clear um, statement na you're an effective supervisor. And another, supervisor must ensure that the results are achieved through his staff effort and in the process, confidence and com com competence of the members are, are achieved or are in enhanced or improved. So, alam mo, kapag confident ang staff mo, ibig sabihin, you have to feel confident as well. Ibig sabihin, you're, you're being a, a, a good supervisor or a leader. No? Alright, so any questions? Ito na tayo sa Q&A. Anyone? We only have three minutes remaining. Okay. Um, any questions so far? So, uh, it seems wala tayong question. I suppose, no? Um, wala tayong question. So, mag assume na ako since wala ako nakikita from the chat or reaction. So, before um, um, I end this, ito lang yung um, by John Maxwell. The key to becoming an effective leader is not focused on making others people follow. But on making yourself the kind of person they want to follow. Diba? So, parang ang sarap, ang sarap na ano, na um, parang mindset ito. Ito yung parang definition natin of being, a, a how e effective we are as a leader. So, making yourself the kind of person they want to follow. It's not because um, they, they follow you for the sake of following you. Kumbaga, it's more of um, a, a positive or good re working relationship. Um, copy of the presentation, um, Limitless um, Admin will, will be coordinating you with that. Um, yan. So, any more? Uh, yan. So, just just um, quick um, master the basics, guide to leadership and supervision, full course. Um, Limitless Power Coach, um, yung available dates natin, no? Um, it's going to be 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, available yan through social media accounts of Limitless Power Coach. Um, via email, marireceive nyo yung mga invitations through their website and other uh, medium. Yan. Okay, ayan. Chinear na yung how to <coughs> register. Alright, so thank you so much. Um, um, this is Riza Kaladiao. Thank you so much for um, your participation. I really appreciate na... Um, everyone um, is is very um, participative, so I think this it, it's a, a a very healthy um, conversation. Yeah. So, yung mga questions natin about certificate, um, si Limitless Power Coach na ang magbibigay siguro niyan. And then, thank you so much. Yung some of the feedback, uh, uh, what to do when super. <laughs> Ayan. Siguro ano? Let's uh, have more of of. Uh, yon I, I hope um, you could sign up dun sa mga full course natin kasi mas maraming, mas meron pang mga activities, mas engaging siya. And I hope everyone um, did have uh, something to, to bring home, no? Parang something to ponder uh, dun sa two hours natin na discussion. And thank you so much, everyone. Um, thank you, thank you for your participation. Thank you. I hope I, I was able to somehow share um, good insights or good new learning or even um, parang kahit na hindi learning talaga, direct learning, uh, at least uh, realization. All right? Thank you so much. Sabi, ano ba yung... Ayan. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have the quote again? Ah, maganda. Parang maganda yung quote na. Ayan. All right. So, um, any more? So I think um, we are ready for the photo op kasi yun yung sabi sa atin ng ni April and and uh, Julius no Okay photo ops tayo um, anyone from April or Julius just let us know if if we're ready to to take um, photo op Thank you thank you so much um, I'm browsing some of your feedback thank you thank you ako ako ang very thankful sa inyo I hope to see you dun sa full course natin.
All right. Uh, April, Julius, what do we do? Are, are we ready for the um, photo ops? Uh, please enable your videos. Yan, sabi ni Julius. Kasi kung meron mang e-certificate, pag wala, wala kayo sa photo op, baka hindi tayo bibigyan ni Julius or ni April. Ayan. Pabilang naman. Let us know, Julius or um, April, if mag-1, 2, 3 sa photo ops natin. Oh, magsasalita pa daw si Julius. Ayan. Please, Julius, take take over. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Stay safe and God bless you all.